y'all. Uh, it is Friday. I know it's been a couple days, I think. So I'm gonna take you through my day today and this weekend. Um, we are going back to Percival this weekend to hang out with everybody uh, for a couple birthdays. So that's exciting. Uh, but today I'm just getting some errands done before work. I didn't do my brows today because I'm gonna go get my brows waxed. So that desperately needs to be done, but yeah. Hope that you enjoy watching this so part of my fall decor i decided to spray paint pumpkins so these are just pumpkins like real pumpkins and i just bought a pan spray can <laughs> i'm struggling to talk today full of gold metallic paint um, and so that will kind of match with my welcome sign and so i'll just put them right here on either side of the door so it's gonna look so good and now i'm going to plant these mums I got some white mums, some purple, and then these yellow ones are from my mother-in-law. So I'm going to take out my dead and dying plants and plant them up. All right, and here is the finished product. I think it looks pretty dang good. I have to get a little bit more potting soil for that. Good afternoon, everybody. Today I am doing some work on some home projects. This is day three of this home improvement vlog. So me and the pup are gonna show you what we've been working on. I've got my paint shirt on and I've got spray paint all over my nails, but it's fine. So, if we go outside, I just got done spray painting some things for the house. Ooh. So, it's all silver for the house because I popped the silver. I have these three words. I uh, love, dream, and smile. I've had these since I was probably like 11 or 12. <laughs> I know, really embarrassing. I spray painted a vase that I had some flowers in, some dried out baby's breath. Spray painted two. I spray painted two candle holders that were like a bronze. Sorry, my Nathan called. And then I spray painted these antique keys that I had. I made them silver. And then I had these two frames above our bed, and I spray painted them. They were like a brown, like a wood color, to silver as well. That is what I worked on thus far. Now I am going to show you what I bought uh, to work on in the house. A fly just came in. Oh well. <laughs> so for the house, I got a couple things. First off, I got spray paint from Lowe's. This is silver. I did some gold on the pumpkins outside. So I went back and got some silver for some indoor things. And then I got some chalk paint. It's in this white color right here to use on my bedroom furniture. We're gonna redo those. And then I got some sealing wax. This is all like Lowe's brand. I got a paintbrush for it, obviously. Some sanding paper. I haven't decided if I wanna distress it or not, but it was cheap. And I got these to put on the wax with. Um, a drip cloth. And then a brush to clean our grill, because we still don't have one. So. That is what I got from Lowe's. So I'll take you with me as I start the bookcase tomorrow, but that is it for home improvement projects today. Just looking at my house, I think I'm pretty much okay with everything else. Like those things were the things that I wanted to spray paint the most. So those are done and then I'm gonna start on the furniture. Hey guys, welcome to day three of the home improvement vlog. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you some projects that I do with like painting that bookcase and everything that I mentioned earlier but all of the things that we worked on yesterday are dry and I'm gonna put them up so here they all are they look so good these are the old brown frames and these are the ignore my cat food these are on top of my washer and then here are the candle holders and everything like that so I'm gonna go put those and away. I'm gonna start working on the bookcase but I did want to show you the plants I showed this during day one it's been a week since day one of this vlog um, because I would like grouped in all these home improvement projects into one, but here is the outdoors. How beautiful the flowers look now that they're actually bloomed and everything like that. Like, it just looks so good with like the pumpkins and everything. I just love how it looks for the fall with like the red leaves in the back and everything. So, love it. And then we have this ugly piece right here. Eventually, I'm going to pull this out or see if I can pull that out and put sunflowers here next summer. But for now, this is what we're working with, and we got a new car. So this is our Escape. Super excited about it. This is our brand new car. We had the Fiesta before, and now we have 
this brand new escape we got it from carmax had such a good experience but so yeah flowers escape and then we got a tv so not a whole lot's changed in this room i put up the gather sign that i showed in my last video and then i put this little tray together and on this tray which has to have the remotes and the coasters that I had before. They're marble with like the silver edge. And then I have this flower pot. And then I ha just bought this $1 pumpkin from Kroger that I have here. I thought it fit in with the ambience of it. Um, and then over here is the pedestal that I had before with one of the candles on it. And then I got this a long time ago in one of our vlogs. And then I filled up this mason jar with little candies for Halloween and yeah that is what we're working with over here oh and then we put up our Matt Skir sign so I love how this looks so it didn't come with hooks on the back because it was just like wood that they made so we went ahead and um, super glued like those little picture frame hangers to the back of this so it looks really good like the place is starting to come together I feel like I think I'm going to paint the entertainment center as well but first we're going to start with the bookcase upstairs so i'll take you along for that process i love how these candle holders look they look so good just ah oh. we have gold and silver pops throughout like my beauty space and everything so i just love how that looks macy girl what are you doing all right and here are the frames once they're hung up and the pictures are in them and everything I think they're a little crooked, but it's fine. I'll make it work. Um, Nathan will fix them when he gets home, but I love how it looks. Like, I'm loving how it looks right here. So, ah, looks so good. They look so much better than this wood color it used to be. Um, eventually, this is going to be white. I'm going to refinish this as white with chalkboard paint, and then we're going to be working on this and refinishing this. And ignore my messy unmade bed. But And then I got that lamp recently at Home Goods as well. So, eventually we're just going to have pops of silver and gold throughout this place. So, it looks so good. I'm going to go ahead and put the signs away. Just started diffusing lemongrass and Motivate. Motivate is like an orange blend. And our kitchen smells so delicious. So excited. So, now I'm going to make get started on dinner. Also, look at my cheesy and cute Halloween towels. Can you die for those? I would die for those. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on some dinner. So for dinner, we're doing my version of semi-homemade spaghetti. <laughs> um, look at how cute she is. Um, but I'm gonna do some ground beef, 80% um, lean, 20% um, fat, and I'm gonna take a jar of this and pour it into that pot. I'm gonna put some Italian seasoning in it. So this is just from like an Amish market. I'm gonna add some basil and parsley so parsley basil if I can find it right here basil and then garlic powder right here I'll probably add some minced garlic too and then the last thing I like to add is a dash of Worcestershire sauce so that's everything we put in our pasta and then we let it simmer with the meat once the meat is done cooking for about two hours and then it's ready. So I'm going to make it and then I'm going to put it in the fridge. So I just have to heat it up during lunch and make the noodles. Because we work night shift. So here's what it looks like with the bed made. I love how it looks for now. Until the furniture is like an ivory color. It looks really good. So I'm excited about that. All right, so my spaghetti sauce is cooking, and right now I put down a drip sheet, and I'm working on the bookcase. So carrying it carried downstairs is crazy, but this is with one coat of the chalk paint. We'll have to go through with a second one. I think in the future I'm going to get a different brush, but so far I really like the color, so that's a good thing about it. But um, this isn't as opaque as some of them that I've seen online, so... Maybe I don't get this brand. This is like Lowe's brand chalk paint. But yeah, I hopefully it looks good when it's finished. All right, so this is after one coat of the chalk paint. Um, the shade is Her Dainties by the Lowe's brand Bellaspar. 
Um, so it's a little bit streaky from the brush that I'm using. So I'm going to try to go over it one more time. It dries a lot less streaky, I feel like. Maybe not. But I'm going to try to go over it one more time and see if I can just get it to look like this. It's kind of rustic looking. And then I'll just stress it a little bit. And then we'll seal it with the wax. So I'm going to try to make all the strokes in one direction. So right, the first coat, I was just trying to cover it. So the second one, I'm going to try to perfect it a little bit more. Are you going? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so right here, I'm just putting on a third coat because this paint is not opaque at all. And um, I use this random elf brush that I found. But it's starting to come together with this third coat. I think it looks pretty good. It's the third one. So I'm just perfecting the shells right now. But... <laughs> but I'm not like a huge fan of this paint. Like it's not as opaque as I thought it would be. Where'd you buy the paint at? At Lowe's. It's Lowe's brand. Let's drop paint. Looks nice. Thank you. Yummy. So excited for this. Babe, you excited? Uh -huh. Super ecstatic. Look at the pup. Look at how cute she is. Alright, pretty lady, what are you doing? <laughs> right now I am sealing the paint. I distressed the edges if you look up close. I distressed the edges of the bookcase. Um just a little bit, um, just to give it some character. And now I am sealing it with some wax. And then it's got to dry overnight and it'll be done. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you like how it looks? Huh? I gotta put the books away now. You gonna help me? Alright, so this is the finished bookcase with everything in it. I feel like it looks so good. I'm really excited to finish that next. And like change out the knobs and everything. But... Like I was showing you, or Nathan showed you, I like slightly distressed the edges of it all and down on the bottom. But yeah, it turned out really well. I'm really excited about it. This is my first chalk paint project, so I wasn't sure how it was going to work out and everything. But I really like how it turned out. And here's the pup with her new pig. <laughs> But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed watching how I did that project and a few other projects around my house. And there are the silver frames, and there are like the love and the dream. I haven't made my bed, so you gotta ignore that, but yeah. I would finish off my vlog with some things that I bought for my makeup kit. Excuse you. Excuse you. Anyway, <laughs> so I bought some moisturizer for myself, and this came with it. This is the take the day off eye makeup remover and it's a, a travel size and I feel like it'd be perfect for my kit if a bride or a client still has eye makeup on so I'm gonna put this in my kit with my skincare because I've been building my skincare section and then I picked up a glitter primer from NYX because they were doing buy one get one half off so I picked up a glitter primer um, I'm going to buy those Stila Magnificent Metals, like the mini versions, the holiday collection. Because um, they have like the three most neutral tones available for like $35 in a holiday collection. So I'm going to buy these for my kit. And for that, you need a glitter primer. So I bought one of these for the kit for that reason. And then you can also use it with like pigments. Like, ooh, this is MAC Tan. I've had this, but I'm moving it to my kit for brides. And then I bought a new mascara. This is the mascara that I use for my clients. Um, yeah, it's carbon black, everything like that. So, yeah, they gave me the waterproof version. I was like, did they not give me the waterproof version? Yes, they did. So, yeah, I get it in carbon black, waterproof. Yes. And then I got this giant thing of Cinema Secrets. I have a little tiny spray bottle that I carry with me, but I refill the spray bottle with this. So it's just a better value. I get this off of Amazon for $30. So I just refill the small one and everything. And then the last thing I picked up were some more latex-free cosmetic sponges. 
Um, latex free is good because some people are allergic to latex, but this is good for baking under the eyes, for shearing out foundation, everything like that. So this one is good for that reason. Sorry, I kept getting notifications and stuff. I also ordered some mascara ones and they're not here yet, but this is basically all the things that I have to buy for my kit and keep up on. So hope that you enjoyed this mini little haul. I thought it wasn't enough things to do in like an actual formal haul video. So I thought I would include it at the end of this vlog. So this is where I'm going to end the home improvement vlog. I hope that you enjoyed watching everything that we've done to our house recently. Um, if you would like to see more videos like this, definitely let us know and we can do those for you. And stay tuned and subscribe for more vlogs from us. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. Bye-bye.